Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth James Cole and welcome to a walkthrough of the Sims Free Play Love is in the Air quest. This quest unlocks at level 7 and it unlocks the ability to get your Sims married. This is the first quest that we actually have a time limit on. There's a time limit of two days for this quest and if you complete it within the two days you will get a special prize of wedding outfit. You can complete it in longer than the two days and you will just be able to get your sims married you won't get then get these wedding outfits so it's worth trying to do it in the two days if you want to get the wedding outfits once you have completed money grows on trees quest and you are level seven you will get this pop-up it says love is in the air two days complete this quest to unlock the ability for your sims to get married it's the first step to your very own sim family so as you can see down at the bottom it tells us what we can win so it's got the Ability to get married and then complete this quest within the time limit to unlock the wedding bundle which contains great outfits for your bride and groom. You've got a timer along the top so you can keep track of how long you have got left. The first thing that we need to do is quick rinse in a shower. One of your sims needs a shower to get them in the mood for a fresh new romance. Have a sim enjoy a quick rinse in a shower. So click on a shower and quick rinse is 6 seconds. I've only got a 1 star shower in here though. So there we go, we have had a quick rinse in a shower. The next thing that we need to do is to get two sims in one house. Your sim smells great now. Time to invite that special sim over for a romantic evening. Get two sims in the same house. So I've already got two sims in the same house, so this will just automatically complete. If you haven't got two sims in the same house, just go into your sim tracker and there'll be a whistle. You can whistle one over. So the next thing you need to do is to have a sim be romantic with another sim. Sims should show their intentions for love early. Find a pair and have them be romantic with each other. You can always add a new sim to town for the perfect map. Let's click on our sim and be romantic takes one minute. And task complete, have a sim be romantic with another sim. Now we need to make espresso. It looks like they're really getting along. They should get to know each other a little bit better over coffee. Have a sim make an espresso. So you should already have a coffee machine because we had to buy one in the previous quest, Money Grows on Trees. The espresso takes 20 seconds on this one star coffee machine. Now we need to flirt with another sim. You can really see the chemistry between them. Make one sim flirt with another. So click on our sim and flirt takes five minutes, top right. We've finished flirting with another sim. The next thing that we need to do is to form a budding romance. There's some real sparks flying here. This could definitely turn into some sort of romance. Have two sims be romantic until they form a budding romance. So if you click on another sim, it's got underneath their name, it's got sort of your status of what you are. So Aria and Ezra are friends at the moment and that green bar is going along. When the green bar reaches the end, they will become good friends and so on. So we want to be budding romance, so we need to turn it, our friendship into a romantic relationship. So let's just keep on being romantic for one minute until they form a budding relationship. So we have been romantic once, and as you can see, our bar now is turned from green to pink. So that means that they are on their way to having a romantic relationship. So let's click be romantic again. So we've finished being romantic for the second time and we get this pop-up, Budding Romance, 150 XP. Arya and Ezra are now in a Budding Romance. There we go, so task complete. I only had to do that twice, be romantic. It could be different for you depending on how friendly they already are. Next, we need to have two sims watch a movie. You can just tell that these two lovebirds would love some cosy cuddle time on the couch with a movie. Have two sims watch a movie. Note, you can finish tasks much faster by using life points to speed things up. Just tap on the active sim and then tap on the LP button. So we'll click on the TV and watch a movie. We've got a two star TV, so this takes one hour and 43 minutes. And then we will click with the other sim, click on the TV and join in for one hour 43 minutes. Oh, and that completes straight away actually. I didn't. I'd forgotten about that, so it doesn't matter. It's an instant thing. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. The next thing that we need to do is to form a dating relationship. The night is nearing the end, and it's pretty clear that your two sims would like to keep seeing each other. They should be dating. Keep being romantic until they form a dating relationship. So to cancel this action, click on the sim and click the cross. Click on it for both of them. 
and we will keep being romantic. So as you can see now, our budding romance is all grey. They haven't sort of started. Let's just do a kiss hand for three seconds. And I can show you that we've got a tiny little bit of pink there. So you can either kiss hand over and over again or be romantic as many times as it takes to form a dating relationship. And there we go. They are now dating. We've got 200 XP for that. And task complete, form a dating relationship. The next thing that we need to do is to make a sim kiss another sim on the cheek. Time to seal the night with a kiss. Make a sim kiss another sim on the cheek. Where's our sim gone? There he is. Let's go and kiss on the cheek. That is two seconds. Quick kiss. Aww. There we go, test complete. The next thing that we need to do now we need to send a sim home. What a great night, but we don't want to overdo it. What if they get sick of each other? Send a sim home. So go into your sim tracker and Ezra, this is and this is Arya's house, so we'll send Ezra home by clicking on the go home button. Task completed. Bye Ezra. Now we need to have a cat nap. Your sims are too excited about this new romance to sleep properly. So a quick nap will have to do. Have a sim take a cat nap in a bed. We click on the bed and cat nap. This is 27 minutes. This is a two star bed. So 27 minutes for a cat nap. We have completed the have a cat nap. The next thing we need to do is to have two sims in the same house. They just can't stay apart any longer. Call two sims to the same house. So let's whistle over Ezra using the sim tracker. And task complete, have two sims in the same house. Now we need to be romantic to another sim. They've missed each other so much. Have two sims be romantic to one another. So click on the other sim and be romantic for one minute. They've finished being romantic. Now we need to become partners. It's time to make this official. Have two sims be romantic be romantic to each other until they are partners so just continue doing the be romantic interaction for one minute and show you a little bar across the top you see at the moment it says date and we've got a little bit of pink we need to get it all the way along until they are partners there we go aria and ezra have now become partners and we get 250 xp for that and that is task completed oh and we've also leveled up to level eight so we get an lp and some more furniture items that we can use in our houses. Let's tap to continue. The next thing that we need to do in the quest is to woohoo. Things have gotten serious and the time is finally here. Get two sims to woohoo. So click on your other sim and woohoo top right there for five minutes. They have finished their woohoo. The next thing that we need to do is to buy two roses. Things are getting serious between these two sims. So serious in fact that it might be time to pop the question. Set the mood by placing two roses in the house. So you will need to go into the home store here. And they're in the flowers section. The trees, plants and flowers section. And... They are these roses here, they are 100 simoleons each. Don't get the other ones which are these red table roses, they are not the ones you need, it is this vase of roses. Place two down, and there we go, task completed, buy two roses. Now we need to get engaged, have two sims be romantic until one of them is ready to pop the question. We'll even give you the ring, the more expensive the ring, the greater chance your sims partner will accept, so don't be a cheapskate. So Eternity Ring, here's a free Eternity Ring to make your proposal a little bit easier. The Eternity Ring is the biggest, fanciest and most expensive ring a sim can get. Surely a sim can't say no to something like this. So if we click on, we can propose marriage for six seconds there. So let's click on that. And then here are your options of rings. Obviously for this one, we have got this free one, but in the future you can get a vending machine dinosaur ring, most sims will not say yes to that proposal. We can get a mood ring, then there's a silver ring and a white gold ring. I think the eternity ring is worth 10 LPs. I'm pretty sure that if you propose with, a, with an eternity ring, then they'll say yes. Let's go ahead and click that. And let's watch this proposal. Oh, he gets down on one knee. Isn't that cute? And did she say yeah? I'm 
And there we go, they are now engaged and we've got 300 XP for that. Task complete, get engaged. Now that they are engaged, the next thing we need to do is to call about engagement. Success, share the big news, call about engagement on a phone to tell every sim. Note, if you don't have a phone yet, find one in the electronics section of the home store. So if you haven't got one, go and buy one, but I have got one. So I will click on the phone and call about engagement. This is only a one star phone, but it's all I can get at the moment. And that is four hours and 30 minutes. The next thing that we need to do is to make two engaged sims move in together. Now that your sims are engaged, they should move in together. Tap on a sim's fiance and ask them to move in. So for this task, whichever house you are in when you do the asking, that is the house that everyone will move into. So make sure you're at the house that you want to be at. So we are at, um, so we are at Aria's house and that is the house that we want to move in. So if we have Aria selected and click on Ezra and ask to move in for four seconds. So if we were over at Ezra's house and Ezra did the asking, then they would move into Ezra's house. There we go, new relationship status. Aria and Ezra moved in together. Task complete, make two engaged sims move in together. The next thing that we need to do is to have three sims in a house. Wow, your sims move fast. They just decided to get married right here in the house. Share the news with even more people. Have three sims in the same house. So you may have throughout the game added somebody else into the town. I haven't at the moment. I have just got these two sims. So we need to go ahead and add somebody else. So what you need to do to do that is to come out onto your town map. And as you can see, our house that Ezra used to live in is now vacant. It's got no Sims faces on it. So that means that it's a vacant house. You can move someone in there. So just go ahead and click on and add a new Sim. I decided to continue with the PLL theme and I'm going to add Emily Field. Though I appreciate that this Sim looks nothing like Emily Field's. It's amazing how few things you have in your wardrobe when you first start. So let's go ahead and add Emily Field. And then once we've added her to the town, if we go back over to the other house and then if we whistle over Emily from the sim tracker and have three sims in a house, task completed. The next thing we have to do is to get married and the last thing actually, time to make the big commitment, have two engaged sims get married. Note, to get married you must first have two engaged sims be romantic to each other until the relationship bar is full. The get married action will then become available. So we've been talking about this bar, so if we go ahead and have a look now, so the engaged bar is completely empty at the moment, we need to do romantic things until that bar is completely pink. So be romantic for five minutes. We could also do woohoo for five minutes or any other pink romantic interactions. As you can see now, the pink bar is all the way to the end of the engaged bar. It probably took about six times, six or seven times to, of being romantic for one minute to get the bar all the way up. So now we've got the option to get married for six seconds. Here we go, our first little wedding. Just in the garden, casual affair. And there we go, they are married and we've got 350 XP for that. They are now married. Task complete and that is quest complete as well. Your sims can now get married. Soon you're going to have a thriving town full of sim families. Congratulations, since you completed the love in the air quest in record time, the wedding bundle has been unlocked. You can find your new outfits in the create a sim menu. The next quest that becomes available to us is two and a half sims, so I'll leave a link down below in the description once I have completed that quest. So let's check out the prizes. To access different clothes, if you click on any wardrobe or chest and go into the browse clothes section, the female clothes are these four different colours of wedding dress, which is found in the outfit section of the wardrobe, and they all come with a tiara and earrings. They are really nice. There's a blue one, a kind of ivory one pink one and a white one I think. They are really nice. And then for the males we have four outfits as well. These are again in the outfit section and they are four different coloured suits. So we have this one here with the blue jacket, this greeny one, a kind of pinky purple type of colour. Then we have this one with a white jacket. They're nice. I think I'm going to go, I think Maybe that one is my favourite, I'm going to go with that one. I would suggest that these outfits and this prize is worth getting. Some of the prizes I don't think are particularly worth it, but it's nice to have wedding outfits in the wardrobe if you want your sims to get married. 
So there you go guys, that completes the love is in the air quest. If you've got any questions or comments about the quest, let me know down in the comments and I'll try my best to try and help you. I will also link the blog post that corresponds to this quest down below in the, um, not in the comments I was going to say, in the video description. But thanks for watching, thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching, bye!